Hello and welcome to this reveal of the winners in the KBB Review Retail and Design Awards 2020 Lockdown Special. You join us here as we welcome the great and good of the industry all dolled up for the night. In reality, they're probably all now in their pyjamas until 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Oh, I think we're ready to begin, so let's get going. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your host, the Managing Editor of Taylor's Media, Andy Davis. Hello everyone. I hope you're all well and enjoying the morning, slash afternoon, slash evening, wherever you are. It's a pleasure not to see so many of you here, and I hope that you're enjoying a glass of something cold while this ceremony is on. Although it's only a few minutes long, so I'd neck it if I were you. I know many of you were hoping I'd be wearing my dinner suit to mark the occasion, but I'm not, for a very good reason. I simply couldn't be asked. Now we're here to announce the winners of the KBB Review Retail and Design Awards 2020 Lockdown Special. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then I explained it all in the last video, so I refer you back to that. Before we get going, I want to again thank all of the fantastic companies who donated our massive prize pool. You all joined in with the fun and saw this competition for what it is, a way to keep spirits up and creative juices flowing. So thank you so much. Now we've got award ceremony needs a host, and who better than someone who's got a bit of previous when it comes to our event. So please welcome via Zoom, Steph McGovern. Steph, Hello. Steph from your living room. Hello, how are you? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Getting used to the surreal world we all live in now. You're up in the northeast, I'm guessing. Yes, I am. I'm in North Yorkshire. Oh, very so, nice. Yeah, enjoying the northeast weather, which is actually all right. To be fair. Yeah, you've got a nice view out the window more than anything else. Yeah. Definitely. Got a garden. So, what a garden up north. <laughs> so how, are you get, how have you been getting on with the lockdown? You've got a young baby. How's that going? Yeah, well, it's, uh, it's a lot calmer now because I was doing a live show from my house every day. Well, uh, as, we, as we all did during lockdown, Steph. As we all yeah, did. yeah, which is basically what we're, everyone working from home. I mean, I've yet to do a Zoom meeting where I don't see a child at some point or an animal, uh, a feature in it somebody on the zoom chat always ends up having a, a drama in the house while you're in the middle of the meeting which is quite funny uh so yeah but it's going good i mean i'm, I'm in a very lucky position that i've still been able to work and um you know had the had the joy of doing a show from home uh, it did get a bit crazy towards at times and uh you know it's quite nice to have the house back now but it's lovely to spend loads of time with the baby. I actually am spending more time with her than I planned to, I'll be honest. Uh, so <laughs> that's good. You know, great. <laughs> yeah. Now, one of the things everyone is hoping for in this industry is that everyone who was planning on getting a new kitchen or a new bathroom before all this happened will, will carry on with it once they've gone out. So I'm going to do a survey of one here with a sample size yeah. of one, because I know that when we last spoke, you were planning, you're building a house which presumably yeah. has kitchens and bathrooms in it, I'm guessing. So yeah, are you, going, more than one. Are you going to carry on with it, Steph? Yes, I Yay. am. I, I know. I think, I think once things start to ease, there will be lots of people who want to try and improve their home and things. Because we have all spent so long in them now that, you know, we've noticed all the little things that need doing. And I can imagine, and hopefully, fingers crossed, it will be good news for your industry. Now, now you've got a baby, have you noticed anything? Have you changed anything from the original plans of that house to now? What have you, what have you worked out you need more of? Yeah, well, you need the sink a lot more. The sink needs to be really accessible, doesn't it? Because you end up covered in food at various points during the day. Uh, so I think we haven't fundamentally changed the plans, but we have thought about like ridiculous things like the sink and also where the, the height of the sockets and things like that, because yeah. uh, the, this house that we're in at the minute has quite high sockets. And actually I think that's quite a good thing if you've got kids, isn't it? It just looks a bit weird. And also my baby seems to smile at the sockets. So I don't it know. Do if like a face. Yeah, but it's just quite funny. You know, I hope she's not going to be one of those kids who ends up on a Channel 5 series, you know, because they 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 fall in love with plugs and sockets. But hey, -ho. <laughs> as long as she's happy. You might be presenting it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's get crack with this, shall we? Because everyone's now bored of us talking and just wants to know whether they've won or not. OK, of course. Oh. And can I just say as well, what an amazing um, and creative and talented lot everyone is to have come up with all these fabulous designs because you know, we are in a time where things are a bit mad. So to, to be able to like focus and create such brilliant ideas, uh, massive round of applause from me. Well, we'll do that virtually, yes. Unfortunately, <laughs> I'll do that too. 
sound effects. Um, okay, so let's start, I think, with the ones who are waiting the most. Let's start with the under 16s, the kids who are out there, the mums and dads got them to design, sit down with some pencils and paper, which God knows I know how hard that is, and they came up with some incredible stuff. But unfortunately, we've got to come up with a winner. I don't want to, but we've got to. So Steph, over to you, put them out of the misery. Yeah, so the winner of the under 16s prize in the KBB Review Retail and Design Awards 2020 Lockdown Special is... Hannah Hunt. Hey! Well done, Hannah. She put a couple of amazing projects in and they were just brilliant. And she presented the video where she explained her awards. She did them all in basically a big purple onesie. So oh, that's, the, I know, I mean, she was going to be a winner right from that point, wasn't she? So well done to yeah. you, Hannah. The prizes, the massive prize pool will be on the way to you as soon as the queue dies down at the post office. Quite frankly, it's a nightmare <laughs> at the moment. Okay, so now for the big one. We're going to go for who the overall winner is, okay? We had hundreds of designs. What was the one design that stood out above all of them? Steph, if you please. Yeah, so the overall winner in the KBB Review Retail and Design Awards 2020 Lockdown Special is... <laughs> what a pro. <laughs> I know, yeah. I'm never going to get out and Dex job, am I? <laughs> Scott Lawrence. Yay, well done, Scott. What a brilliant project that was. So creative, and it had loads of gadgets and technology in it as well, which is just, just yeah. brilliant. So, Scott, a fantastic bit of work. You should be very proud of yourself. Now, we've got one last honourable mention here, because while Scott is the overall winner, and therefore the top kitchen, uh, we thought it was right to give a special mention to the top bathroom design as well. So, Steph, over to you for our final reveal. And I'd just like to say as well, for everyone who entered, well done because you've clearly put an incredible amount of effort in and should be dead proud of yourself. But we can only have one winner, the top bathroom design in the Kia BB Review Retail and Design Awards 2020 lockdown special goes to... Jane Hiddleston. Yay! Well done to you, Jane. Another amazing piece of design, just a brilliant bit of creative work, so well done to you. Steph, what a brilliant job. I knew who the winners were and I was getting tense. <laughs> that's, that's how we're bored you are in lockdown, isn't it? <laughs> it really is, but that's, you're very good at your job, so well done to you. Uh, look, thanks for this. Uh, the ceremony's over now. We're all going off to the virtual disco if you fancy a drink. Um, Amazing. Yeah. yeah. So thank you. It was a fresh shot. <laughs> <laughs> we're just going to sit in the garden and just hope for the yeah. best. Look, thank you for your time. I really do appreciate it. Well done, everybody. And, you know, well done for getting through everything and do it still coming up with such creative stuff. That's it. Thank you so much to Steph for stepping in to reveal our winners. And thank you to everyone who took the time and trouble to send an entry in. You're all brilliant. And we will keep posting as many entries as we can on the KBB Review social media so that everyone can see themselves. I'll see you soon.